stars. Your choice tonight, any three that you'd like to, or excuse me, any one that you'd like to choose from, from the three that I have in my hands, and they come up for $12.50. So how is Catch the Light highlighter different from maybe On the Glow or the different ones that we've had? Love that you asked that question. So Catch the Light is going to give you more pearlescent pigment. Now whenever you're getting a glow from Wanda Beauty, you can work, you can be sure that you're getting a sophisticated sheen. The Catch the Light is giving you more of that pearlescent finish. There's also collagen in this, guys, hyaluronic. So all about skin-loving ingredients here. Another thing, guys, the Catch the Light highlighter is designed to fit into all of those nooks and crannies that need a little bit of light. I'm right under the brow, no problem. I'm in the outer C because that's where that light hits us. And again, we're all about mimicking what happens naturally. I'm also down the bridge of the nose, guys, right in the center to make the nose appear um, straighter and slimmer if you want to do that. I'm also at the Cupid's bow to add a little pout because a girl needs a pouty lip. And you're good to go. It's all about luminous glow. It's all about post-facial glow. It's different because- use this to create like a shimmer ombre? Absolutely. I love putting this in the center of the lip because it gives you definition, but it does not change the texture of your lip. So you can use this with one of our Wander Out uh, matte lipsticks to keep that matte finish going, but to also add dimension for more of a pout. And any preference really for like the shades, the sun, the moon, like can it's you? All universal guys, moon okay. is what she's wearing. Um, sun is more of like a golden-y shade. It's one that I wear all the time. And then if you like star, you're more about that kind of pinky rose shade. It's a really gorgeous rose champagne shade. Oh, very, very, very wearable pretty. shades. And you know, I like how a little goes a long way with mm -hmm. this because you know, it's one of those things that it's like, okay, it might be small, but it's incredibly mighty. This is something- She's small, but she's mighty. She's right? small, but she is, she is pint-sized, but she is fierce. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and I love that again, you're just patting this in. And I like that you're not having to angle her face a different way to see it. Like it truly does catch the light in the most flattering way possible. Yes, luminous skin, that's what we're giving. Such now, when do you know how to stop? Because I could see how this could get real addicting. <laughs> so we don't. <laughs> the okay. size makes it perfect to travel with, so you take it with you and you just keep going. You just keep going. <laughs> yes. Now, would you ever highlight like your decollete, like maybe like your clavicle or anything like Absolutely. that? Absolutely, and we're doing it. We're, okay. So I'll do it too. Why do we do that, guys? Well, you have somewhere fabulous to go, and you want to make sure that there's no stone left unturned. Highlighting the clavicle just really makes it pop out, so it makes you appear a bit more slim. Plus, the bottom line is that if you're wearing a fabulous dress, I think your neck deserves a little love. I think your your uh, neck tone deserves to have a little glow. Look at that. I mean, just that kind of quick and easy application gives her this really beautiful finish. We're multitasking. Put it everywhere. You know, mm -hmm. I always think about like the places where we like where you call home. Like, there's not always like the fanciest lighting. You mm -hmm. know, when we talk about like candlelight, and it's like, well, you know what? Like, I'm still kicking it old school with fluorescence. Like, <laughs> if that's this the case, true. I love that you can put something like this on, and you have that incredible glow that looks like you have the lighting crew that makes your skin look dewy and soft and Absolutely. luminous. Absolutely. No matter what the lighting situation, because I know how it is at my house, and it's like I flip the lights on sometimes, and I'm like, whoa, <laughs> that is that is alarmingly bright. You gotta take it into your own hands every now and again, and, and bring your own light with you. And Remind mm -hmm. us again what shade you're using right now on Christine. So I am using Moon on Christine. I actually am wearing Moon as well. We have Sun, which is that gorgeous, rich, golden champagne. And then we have Star, which is a really beautiful rosé champagne. And then what about Sun? Did you say Sun? Yes. Sorry. So sun, <laughs> no, no problem. So Sun Labels. is like the golden champagne. The, uh, moon is the one that myself and Christine, we're both wearing Moon. And then Star is more of that rosé champagne. So it's this gorgeous pink shade. Pinky, right. iridescent, it's really beautiful. Well, three choices tonight that you get to bring home. I mean, you think about taking on summer in the most natural, glowy way possible. I put some right here and then on my shoulder a little bit because again, the formulation goes a little goes such a long way. So it'll be something again, especially if you have your moisturizers on, you can see that luminosity continues on. You have your three shades tonight. Here is the sun. Next up, we have the star and we have the moon, which is that lighter shade that you see right there. Two easy payments of $12.50. 50 cents and that's going to almost wrap up our last tutorial but we're going to see Christine's BA as courtesy of her makeup amazing artist Danielle. All right so Danielle what do you think of the before and after? So she was stunning when she got here and we just enhanced what was already there. We used our Flash Focus Hydrating Foundation Stick and we used Light Medium for Christine. We also used our Frame Your Face Brow Pencil in Taupe. We put Lilac Luster Exquisite Eye Liquid Eyeshadow on her lids and Lash Volume and Curl Mascara on the lashes, of course. And then we have Pink City on the apples of her cheeks, as well as on her pout to really make it uh, make it a really gorgeous kind of sheen. Then we caught the light with the shade Moon. 
all on the high point of her face and even in the center of that lip for gorgeous glow everywhere. Well, Danielle, Christine, thank you guys so much. And a big shout out thank you to Jaylene as well. Lindsay, this was so much fun. So fun. I yes. love your lip color. It is so like vibrant. Exhibitionist. Yes. Yeah, I'm ready to go out. This is so Well, girl, fun. you can. It's a Thursday. It's, it's 11. Really There's a glass Friday. of wine. Almost Friday. Almost Friday. Which will be wonderful. Okay, yeah. so when are you, okay, by the way, when are you getting the mascara back in stock? Is there like a time frame? Oh my frame? gosh. I hope, like, I hope within the next month. I hope. <gasps> okay, thank I you. Hope. Okay. I know because it sold out like crazy. It flew off the shelves yes. because it is so amazing. So this was so much fun. This was I, such a yeah. great time. And thank you I guys for spending you. two hours with us yeah. in case you missed anything. And especially if you need to write down this item number for the most legendary mascara. <laughs> Seriously, that brush is Stay unlike tuned. anything. Stay tuned. Hopefully it'll be here. But don't go anywhere because coming up next, we've got a full hour with Dr. Adrian Dennis. I achieve a summer beachy look.